get to the scuff pad first. This is a scuff pad you use to clean with a acetone or isopropyl alcohol or your IPA. This is your thermometer. You'll place it right here after the bat pan is installed to check the temperature. This is a top layer sticker that goes on top of the bat band. It literally goes on top of it and it's slightly longer. It will give a nice protection from the edge where the resin can leak in. And of course, your vat band. Quick note versus the other older version that we have. This is a 16 inch long vat band. We also changed the wiring, made it solid versus threaded. I don't know if you can see that. So this prevents any dangling wires touching across, etc. Much easier to put into the female jack. It goes in a lot easier, okay? And the 16 inch gives you a lot more surface to, to basically apply on. The other good news we have is we have added new type of filament in here that is more flexible so we can actually bend the vat band before we could not bend them the inside filament used to break so now it is truly flexible we could do what's called a z fold so if you feel that you do not you do not want to take the challenge of doing the corner you can easily do a z fold here and fall short to the curve and i'm going to show you how to go through the curve here and install it. A few little tips and tricks here. All right, that's the reason we're doing this installation video. So let's go ahead first, give it a quick, quick, quick clean. This is an IPA. I went ahead and just put it, put it on the scuff pad. Give it a good scuff. When you do a quick scuff, make sure you get all the residue. Sometimes you'll get layers of resin caked on top. You have to scuff that off. If there's any, any resin on your finger, inside, your, your hand can contaminate the surface area. So basically the glue, the glue will not stick. And it's almost like oil. The resin does not stick to anything. So make sure you clean all the surface area. I, I generally will clean the whole vat first before you install because when you hold your hand, touch the surface, you're gonna contaminate. So make sure your vat is completely clean before you install, okay? Once you do the whole surface area, I've already cleaned this, obviously. All right, you scuff it really good. Is it gonna scratch the surface? No. Actually, it really depends on what kind of surface it is. These days, there's different types of metals, but in general, it should not scratch, scratch the surface. If it does, you're just gonna get a better adhesion, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna do a dry run with the tape. You could do this, basically it's like a practice. We're gonna practice using a regular masking tape. So one of the techniques I suggest is you have to determine where, where you want to put the vat band in. You want to put it over here at the top or go low. That really depends on where your fold is going to be here, your dip. Okay, if the dip is going further down from the bottom of your vat, then go down to the bottom Let's do it this way, you get to see it. For example, like this. Like that. See that? Kind of like that. 
you're gonna treat the vat band same as your masking tape just so I think it's a good way for you to just get a dry run so right now this is gonna behave just like your vat band all right now you're saying Peter I still won't trust it so but what we're gonna do instead is we're going to take a vat band what you can also do is put a masking tape over it like so let it stick out a little bit like that this will, this will basically give you an idea where the placement's going to be say maybe it's over here I'm not certain so go ahead and tape it down there and then there we go so you could also do a masking tape dry run if you want to kind of get an idea so you'll, you're basically looking at where the wire is going to end out at, where the wire will basically hang out from. Okay, so this is what this is, process is for. It's masking tape is a very good idea to do a dry run. First, you want to determine where you want the wire to be hanging out from. I like them in a corner right about here right there that's one good spot see that let's go all the way around goes through there and like so like that Okay, so don't pull the tape back all the way. Okay, we're only going to be working with this side here. Take a pencil or So once you massage that in, come around here and start to notice we're already getting off course here. So what I'm going to do is peel this back and adjust it. Put your finger down here. Make sure you're aligned on the right path it likes to stray away from the path. There you go. See how I'm peeling the back and applying at the same time.
I'm happy with the with how close I got. I'm going to peel the rest away. Same process. You could use anything that has a little round corner, even a end of a pen would work too. So let's go ahead and come down here in the corner, push it through. If it does not want to go down, just peel back and just push it back again, and then force this to come down like that. So I just did. Just like that. And then push this down and then get a little aggressive with the uh, marker there or your pen or your stick and then massage the contour area first push that back in like that that's about right and then I'm gonna massage that all the way up front towards me see that and I'm still flushed I'm not I'm not too far the edge I'm just right now you're gonna say, can I cut this little area? You can, as long as you don't touch the, the filament here. Just be careful. Go ahead and cut right there. Just, I mean, barely, maybe a half a millimeter you can cut. You don't wanna cut the yellow spot, you can cut the dark orange spot, okay? If, if you need to, but I don't recommend it. Let's go back down here. Use a tool, come to the edge, just massage back and forth, up and down, and then bring this back up again like that. That's it. Nice and tight. Let's come around this way here. So we were tugging and we got a little pocket here. That's okay. Push that down. Even Steven. There we go. Now you can start massaging. Massage here, here. Massage really well. Now you can turn on the vat band and the glue will start to emulsify, meaning it'll bake and it'll get stronger and it'll stick twice as hard. Okay, so. By the way, this orange area, as I mentioned to you earlier, you can cut it. So you feel that this, you don't need this orange space. You can cut this excess material. There is no heating element in here. You'll find out what this is extra for. This is actually a cold zone, we call this a cold zone, made for the quick release connection port. You'll see it a little bit later on, on the other installation process. Okay, so there we go. Nice clean install. This is your thermostat. This, this is the earlier version I wanted to share with you. Much larger. Now it's half the size. As you can see, when you take off the thermal vat band, it starts to curl up like this, okay? Ours, our latest one does not curl as much, but at the end of the day, when you do peel it off, it's gonna do something similar. Just make sure it just doesn't stick to itself. Just makes a big mess, okay? Let's see what else uh, I wanted to share with you. Let's do... Let's do the areas of concern that you're not happy with or you got a bubble or whatever the case may be what I would do is apply we provided you with foil tape foil tape is if there's a lot of tension area like right here you can apply foil tape from the top all the way down to the bottom and this is very malleable you can put it in here push it down it actually adds more tension down. That's what we supplied you with this for. You can also place it over here. If you feel that you want more protection for your wire not to break, there's a lot of tension, you can apply it here as well. 
or when you peel away the thermostat and you want to reapply it and the tape does not work, you can also use the foil tape. This foil tape is your typical insulation foil tape you could buy from Home Depot. Okay, so this is nothing special. It's great for heat, it conducts heat really well and it peels away very quickly. Very useful tape to have around. You can also tape it all the way around here as well. If for some reason our tape does not stick anymore or you ran out, you could easily replace it with this tape right here, okay? So right now, this tape is actually similar. You noticed? However, this tape is exact fit of the VAT band. In addition, we've added a lip about one eighth of an inch on both top and bottom. We also added a few different, uh, uh, sorry, extra. We added extra pieces. And if the, if, if the length is not enough, you can add an, another sticker on top of it. We provided, I think, so two or four, depending on the product you buy. We're actually extending the length of the sticker currently to make it, to give you one long piece rather than one many pieces. Now, if it does this, that's okay, because our concern is at the top. We want to make sure it is nice, clean. I don't normally put it over the thermostat. I, I stop right here just because it looks a lot cleaner, but you can go over it as well because right at the end of the day, you want a nice tight seal at the top here. You don't want any resin sneaking in. As you, you already know, resin gets everywhere. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Okay, now let's install the, the power. You take your two wires, do a quick twist. Like so. Now twist it. One in, second one in. Like so. this in. That's it. Got your power.